beautiful muses. Welcome to Cosmo Muse Tarot. Today we are diving into a healing message. This is a, a semi-regular Wednesday feature. It's at least one I, I've recently started and seen how it's going, where I take one of the decks I own that the creator went, you know, went into really, really deep depth with each of the cards. Most of these decks I'm talking about are by El Elena Fairchild. Um, she's just filled with like an encyclopedia library of beautiful wisdom and, you know, spiritual, mystical, uh, all sorts of cultural wisdoms and her cards just like her decks just go into such depth and so I don't often pull them out in readings where I'm pulling lots of cards because I just feel like I'm not going to do them justice and because they're so in depth like I don't have a firm sort of like uh, relationship to understanding each card. So my intention with this is to use it for you guys the way I use these decks for myself, where I just feel like I need some deeper, beautiful insight in my life. And I pull one of her card, you know, to pick one of her decks and pull a card and just read her message straight from the guidebook and kind of absorb it. So that's what I'm going to do. I will also pull a tarot card for each one as well um, for a significator that might indicate why you were drawn to the message. And then we will just flip over your card and just read straight from the guidebook. So this week's deck that I chose is the Quan Yin Oracle. So it's the goddess Quan Yin in all of her various forms, giving different messages. She is a goddess of um, compassion, self-compassion, compassionate action, all of that beautiful stuff. So I'm going to pick three piles. And sometimes I feel called to um, pick the cards upright, and sometimes I feel called not to do that. And this week I'm feeling called not to flip them over yet, so I do also have some stones to help with the pile selection. And it's definitely a reading where if you feel like you need more than one beautiful message right now, you can um, choose more than one pile all three if you would like okay let's see if we can get a card out here i was feeling this one so that's pile one i feel like i have smallish hands because these big decks are so hard for me to get my hands around that one was sticking out so pile two Let me just organize these a little and then we'll get into them better. Okay, so pile one, we've got a green or aqua calcite for you guys. Pile two is pyrite. Pile three is aqua marine. Okay, if you need time with these piles to fill into which ones are drawing you in that have a message for you, you can pause here. And when you are ready, timestamps are in the descriptions and you can just jump straight to your reading or readings and I will see you in your piles. 
Hello, Pile One. Welcome to your Kuan Yin message, hopefully a healing message. Before we turn over your card and discover what that is together, I'm going to draw a significator card for you guys to show why it is you may be here. And so you guys got the Six of Water. So something about nostalgia, something about um, childhood, you may be doing some inner child healing, some family healing, or just kind of feeling sort of in general nostalgic for things to be the way they used to be or something like that. So we're going to see what Kuan Yin wants to, what kind of message she wants to bring to you, but just keep that sort of in the back of your mind. Okay, so we have Maiden Magoo for you guys. Number 16. And so let's, in her guidebook, that's the guidebook by the way. Let's go to that. And so I'm just reading straight from the guidebook. It's a few pages long. At the end of the message, there is like a, a healing that she does. So I'll go through that with you guys as well. Um, and when I get to that point, and I'll tell you when we're going into the healing point, if you're like at work or somewhere where you can't kind of like relax and close your eyes, you may want to come back to that part of the reading later. Um, but you can still listen to it and be doing other things. But to get the most out of it, you may want to come back if, if you're not in a good space to kind of, yeah, relax and close your eyes. Okay, Maiden Magoo. The Maiden Magoo, goddess of spring, healing and transformation, brings you assistance now. You are asked to honor that light, that light can come from even the darkest beginnings. Um, in fact, sometimes we need to enter into the unknown parts of ourselves to find exactly what we need to grow in peace, creative self-fulfillment, self and happiness. The challenge uh, can be to trust what will what we will arise from to trust that we will arise from this darker place again just as the spring always follows the winter beloved so too will any inner work with the shadow precede a beautiful rebirth for you and i love this because if you i mean you can come to this it's a timeless reading you could come at any point but if you do come when i put this out we are at least in the northern hemisphere kind of coming into pre-spring energy, nearing spring. Okay, Maiden Magoo, an immortal expression of the Divine Mother of the East, now brings you a speci special message from Kuan Yin. She guides you to trust that if you enter into the darkness of the unknown parts of yourself, you will emerge into light, reassembled and reborn once more. If you are going through chaos in your life because you are allowing your, it's because you are allowing yourself to grow. Uh, Maiden Magoo also reassures you that the order and light will emerge out of the chaos in due course. Have faith and keep growing. In order to grow spiritually, there are th times when we simply must delve within and find our shadow. It is easier to perceive the effect of the shadow than the shadow itself. The effect of the shadow is judgment, positive or negative, or of another that we do not think is related to us personally. We may, we might, we mightily ad admire, despise characteristics or traits of another, and yet when such judgments arise, it is a part of us that we seek to be integrated and expressed, trying to get our attention through our judgment. Noticing our judgments of others is the quickest way to get in touch with the shadow self trying to grow and heal into our own conscious awareness so that we can become more whole, empowered, and divinely delicious as we were always meant to be. This is especially so if you have pulled the Veil of Shadows card as well as Maiden Magoo. Uh, your judgment might be a strong reaction to a person who seems to be self-centered and self-obsessed. The shadow in the self trying to communicate with you through this judgment might be the part of your own consciousness that wishes to be more supportive of the self. 
It will no longer allow you to put yourself behind others, but instead encourage you to express yourself and take up your space with presence. Admiring a great talent in another with strong reaction or judgment, positive or negative, might be a part of your own psyche, wishing to grow and express itself with similar confidence and freedom too. It can be extremely surprising exactly how many uh, wonders are hiding in the parts of us that we are yet to know consciously. Sometimes there's anger, fear, jealousy, or shame wrapped around those hidden parts of self. If we can be kind, allow the feeling to come up and to pass without fearing them, then eventually the beauty underneath will reveal itself too. You are being guided by Mother Divine Quan Yin through Maiden Magu to realize that there is a part of you within that is trying to emerge. You may have judgments of others um, on one issue or trait that seem to be more repetitive or noticeable of late. You are guided to sense what beauty within you could be underneath these judgments, trying to make its way into your conscious awareness bringing you um, more of yourself to enjoy and share with the world. Be patient and open-minded as you wait for your intuition to help you realize what is growing within you, triggering your judgment of another. It, if, it, if it is anger you see in others, it will be strength growing in you. If it is manipulation you see in others, it will be a desire to be direct and own your own needs within you that is growing. The shadow holds great beauty within, beloved, and there is no need to fear it. Maiden Magoo's special blessing to you is to realize that you will soon enter the spring of rebirth with this process. Entering into the shadow self can feel like going into a spiritual winter. It can feel dark and alone delving into the parts of us that we may that we might prefer not to look at too closely. Allow the process that is happening for you to bring you, to bring more of you to light. Don't be scared. You might not have been ready to see yourself as an empowered, spiritual, musical, creative, healthy, and talented being in the past, and yet now you are more ready for this, so embrace it. Have trust in beloved Kuan Yin that these energies only seek expression when the psyche is ready for it. This card is also an indicator that if you have been working on a project, whether it be self-healing and shadow work, or a creative project, or are looking to work with children rebirthing a creative um, endeavor more generally, the time is fast approaching when this will come together as a new reality for you. Okay, I'm gonna read the healing now. Close your eyes and sit comfortably. Imagine that you sit with beautiful spring goddess Magoo with her basket of fresh blossoms falling all around you. It is a beautiful temperate spring day and you are in a sacred field of blossoms. She gestures ahead and you sense a figure approaching. It is you, but a future you, more whole and complete, with a message for you about your highest possible future. Let this part of you speak to you, bring you love and any guidance that is helpful, helpful for you to hear now. You might not hear words, in which case just look for the love in your eyes reflected back to you or even imagine that the future you and the current you can teach each other's hearts, gently resting your hand on each other's chest. Maiden Magoo sprinkles blossoms around you both, and when you are ready, you follow the breath and come back into your body in the here and now. Sit a few moments peacefully without thinking, and when you are ready, just open your eyes. All right, so that is your reading. I hope it was insightful, needed, beautiful. Um, yeah, uh, I will see you in one of the other readings or in future readings if this resonated. I always appreciate support with likes and shares and subscribes. Also, if you're interested in Western astrology, I do put out a free substack each month, kind of giving the overview of the astrology of the month. There's a link down in 
the descriptions if you want to subscribe to that newsletter. And yeah, I hope to see you in future readings and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your Wednesday healing message uh, this week with Quan Yin. So before we turn over your card together and discover what it is, I'm going to pull one tarot card as a significator, possible indication of what drew you to this pile. And we have the star, beautiful. So potentially either looking for or feeling a new sense of hope, wanting to feel some sort of vision for your future, hope for the future, um, just connecting to your original pulse as well, your originality being expressed, um, which can bring sort of a feeling of star power. Uh, not that you have to be a star in the world, but like it really connects you to that, you know, that very electric kind of energy within. So there may be something about this that has drawn you into whatever this message is from Quan Yin. Um, so just keep that in the back of your mind as we go into this card. I may or may not kind of touch back into it. Okay, so you guys have the Book of Changes. Well, that already makes sense because the star is very Aquarian, which is about the new kind of sense of future. So it can really talk about liberation and change. So um, let's dive into the book. I'm gonna read this message straight from the book. There is at the end of the message sort of like a healing that you get taken through. And so if you're somewhere where you can't really, I don't know, like close your eyes or really relax, you may want to pause at that point and come back when you can do that. Um, or you can listen to it just to get the vibe and then come back and, and more meditatively do it when you have, um, when it's more opportune time. But hopefully for some of you, you can just go straight into the healing. Okay, so the book of changes. Just like a beautiful but unusual melody, the divine plan is unfolding through your life, although it isn't always predictable. Kuan Yin is guiding you in the right direction. Even if you don't fully understand what is happening in your life right now, allow Kuan Yin to bless you with trust in the unfoldment of your own divine path. The book of changes is always at play, helping us find our way. You are just taking a smarter route to your destination. Sometimes situations or circumstances occur that seem to take us away from our destined goal or cause us to question whether we need to take matters into our own hands to achieve our desired manifestation. If we do not understand why something is happening the way that it is right now, with patience and experience, the wisdom and helpfulness of a situation is often revealed and we can marvel at how we were assisted through the workings of a higher intelligence that we did not understand at the time. Just like an experienced guide on a mountaintop, Kuan Yin has traversed the spiritual path over many lifetimes to arrive at her enlightened and compassionate state. She is very wise and she is blessing you with her grace, even if that grace seems to be a dark cloud, a delay, an unexpected disappointment, or even a wonderful new opportunity in a different direction. She can help you avoid pitfalls that you do not need to encounter if you trust her guidance. She can read the book of changes and understand the divine plan unfolding through you to help lift you to your divine path with the least struggle. You are being asked to trust and allow the circumstances in your life to unfold right now. Even if there are delays, don't force an issue. Let it settle and sort itself out with as little interference as possible. You do not have to let anyone take advantage of you, nor do you have to prevent yourself from expressing your truths and feelings about whatever is happening. 
However, you are being guided to trust that no matter what appears to be the case right now, this detour or unexpected situation is a blessing from the divine plan confirmed by Kuan Yin, assisting you in avoiding unnecessary problems later on as she corrects your life direction and helps you move forward with greater grace on your divine path now. So we are going into the healing at this point. So you may want to pause and come back later if you are not in a good spot to kind of relax and close your eyes. Okay. Lie quietly in a slightly darkened room and take your awareness into your heart center. Imagine there is a light glowing in your heart and a divine path unfolds before you, rising up, winding and curving, sometimes unexpected, unexpected, <laughs> unexpectedly, yet always bathed in golden light. On that path, you see or sense the beautiful luminous energy field of Kuan Yin as she tosses golden coins in the air and watches them as they land, laughing gently at the patterns they form, clapping her hands with delight. She sees you and raises her hand in blessing. Offer to her any situation or unexpected circumstances, uh, unexpected circumstances, wanted or unwanted, that is in your life at this time. Perceive her receiving this from you, turning it into golden coins and tossing it in the air, noticing the patterns as the coins land. She sends love to those coins from her heart and then returns them to you. Take them into your heart and know all is well. Beautiful. All right, that is your healing message this Wednesday. I hope it was insightful or needed um, or just something you can meditate upon. If this resonated, I always appreciate support with likes, shares, subscribes. Always grateful for kind and thoughtful comments. Also, if you are interested in Western astrology, check out my um, monthly astrological um, musings. Uh, I have a sub stack that I will put a link to in the descriptions if you want to check out my, yeah, my sub stack or my, it's kind of a newsletter platform. And I will see you in future readings. Have a beautiful day. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your Wednesday healing message with Quan Yin this week. So before we turn the card over to discover what it is together and then read from the guidebook for it, I want to pull one tarot card that may give a little bit of insight, sort of a significator card giving insight into maybe why you were drawn to this message. Feeling this card, Ace of Fire. So you may be looking for a new spark. You may be feeling a new spark, um, wanting to feel connected to the power of your creativity or your passion or your vitality or starting to feel that, something about that. So keep that in mind, sort of in the background. Um, I don't always touch back into this. Sometimes it makes sense too, and sometimes I just kind of let you uh, interpret what that is for you. Okay, let's see what your Quan Yin is, which Quan Yin you got. So 10 Sisters of Light, card 33, which 33 is the master teacher as well. So that may be significant to some of you. Okay, so let's find your reading. Here we go. Um, and then just a heads up, once I get done with reading the description or the guidebook um, interpretation of your card, it goes into a healing. So if you're not in a great space right now to kind of get into meditative energy, close your eyes, whatnot, um, you might want to pause at that point and then come back when you are um, to that healing portion when you're in a, a better space to do that. For some of you, you will be able to just do that right away, but just sort of a heads up on that. Okay, so 10 Sisters of Light. 
You are an advanced soul and have lived many incarnations. Shun your light through many different faces. Your soul has learned many skills in past lives, developed abilities and talents. This lifetime is a culminating lifetime in the sense that your soul is drawing together potencies developed over many lifetimes into unified expression. It is like drawing on the power of 10 sisters or more into your one current lifetime. Be prepared to grow and shine, beloved. The higher self likes to integrate the wisdom it has gleaned over many experiences and lifetimes so that nothing is lost and all is enhanced. You are in a process of spiritual weaving and integration at a soul level now. This means that skills and abilities that you hardly recognize consciously will become more obvious to you. You may find that you know things from different traditions that you have no recollection of ever learning. You may feel strangely drawn to start studying different healing arts or martial arts, for example, only to find that it is somehow familiar to your heart. Be patient, open, and trusting of this journey. It is an intense time of spiritual growth as in the integration um, Let's see, it is an intense time of spiritual growth as in the integration there is also shedding of old issues or pain that no longer serves you. It is good to let go. You are being asked to encourage the activation of past life abilities in your current lifetime by letting go of past pain and issues, even if you are not conscious fully of what they are through releasing pain with the breath out of the heart chakra and anywhere else in the body or energy field you intuitively feel to do so. From the space created, the soul light will shine and the light of incarnations past, including talents and abilities developed therein, shall shine through you now. This oracle is also guidance that in your life at present there is a past life pattern or contract strongly operating. This is neither good nor bad. It is helping you to grow either in a supportive way or in a way that is challenging you to become stronger. This past life contract may arise in the form of a teacher relationship or teaching. It may revolve resolve itself by you receiving the teaching or letting go of a relationship or accepting a new relationship into your life or even letting go of a philosophy or a teaching so that you may expand your awareness with a different teaching that helps you access the wisdom you need for your growth at this particular phase of your journey. This may be very different to what you needed some years or even months ago and that is fine. It is up to you to trust your heart and discern what feels true for you. Remember you are one being with the eternal source and that being has had many faces just like the ten sisters of light. You have various skills and talents and you can enjoy, enjoy allowing the process of their return to you now and the integration of healing of a past life pattern into a new expression too. Okay, going into the healing now, so you may want to pause and come back to this when you're in a better situation or if you are in a great space, um, just know you're going into more of a meditative place. Okay, sit quietly with your eyes closed and become aware of a soft white light that burns brightly within your heart center, which is your divine self. You become aware of a beautiful woman glowing radiantly by your side, offering support and protection. Focus again on the light and say, I now choose to honor, forgive, accept, and love all that I have ever been. Breathe in and out for the heart cent of the heart center, allowing the light to grow, then say, I now choose for my highest good to open and surrender to the wisdom of my own soul growth, bringing into this present lifetime that which has served me in the past, if it will serve my highest good again now, through my own free will, so be it. Breathing in and out, allowing the beautiful Quan Yin to send love to your soul light in your heart, watching it grow in peace and power now. You become aware that the light returns 
oh sorry, that the light turns into shining sisters dancing in your heart. The sisters grow until there are ten in number. They are guardians, they are past lives, they are guides, they are part of your own consciousness. Let them dance in light, and when you are ready, open your eyes. Beautiful. That does feel very connected to kind of new light coming into you, new powers, new talents. New, yeah, so really beautiful reading. I hope this was helpful and resonant and insightful. If so, I always appreciate support with likes and shares and subscribes. Always grateful for kind and thoughtful comments as well. And um, if you are interested in Western astrology, I would encourage you to go check out my Substack, which is like a newsletter. I have a link in my bio or in the description portion of this reading to subscribe to my Substack. There's a free option which gets you um, a monthly kind of astrological outlook. The paid version, you get that as well as by sign horoscopes as different transits unfold during the month. So say if Mercury or Venus switched into a new sign, I would send out an email with by sign horoscopes for that transit or, you know, new and full moons as well as like a change in astrological uh, zodiac season, that kind of stuff. So yeah, give that, give that a whirl. Check it out if you like astrology and I hope to see you in future readings and I hope you're having a beautiful day.